Hi, my name is Stuart with Metro Home Theater Group. Today we're going to discuss features and functions of Spyclops products. For remote access of Spyclops DVRs, you'll want to download the Spyclops app. You can do that with the Apple App Store or on Google Play with Android. Uh, for this example, we're going to be using an iPhone to download uh, Spyclops. So what you want to do is search for Spyclops. And there we are. Uh, you'll want to download Spyclops. Once your download is complete, you'll want to open the app. And for this example, there's, uh, there's actually two different ways you can use the Spyclops app. You can register with the app, and what that will do is, is keep a record of your device IDs and passwords. So if you change devices regularly or if you need to have multiple people use it, you can uh, use that registered username and password. Um, or you can use the trial or local option. Um, and what that does is that just keeps it local to the device. And that's what we're gonna do for this demo. Uh, to add based on a cloud ID, uh, that's the nine digit number in the bottom right hand corner of the, of the monitor that you have connected to your DVR. We're gonna tap the plus symbol in the upper right hand corner. And we're gonna select add device by ID. Um, once you have done this, you're going to enter the nine digit number associated to your DVR. After you've entered the nine digit number, you'll want to enter the uh, description of the device. You can title this whatever you want. In this case, my device number one works well for us. Uh, the username is admin for the DVR, so we'll leave that. And our password for the DVR we're connecting to is one, two, three, four. After you've entered the, that information, you'll want to make sure that you select the correct number of channels for the DVR you're connected to. In this case, we are going to connect to a four channel DVR, but if we were connecting to an eight or a two or 16, those are the options you would want to select. But in this case, we're going to select four, and then we're going to hit submit in the upper right hand corner. After you've done that, you'll see a preview pane for your device. Um, to actually view the live stream, you're going to need to tap the preview screen and that'll pull up your, your live cameras. And there we are, we're connected, live streaming our four connected cameras remotely. And that's all there is to setting up the Spyclops app. For more information and helpful videos, please visit us at metrahometheater.com.